This week we're going to start out by looking at the brakes again, uh, doing some final tweaks there, and then starting on the Tesla motor cooling. I am starting on the rear brake line. So I've got a flare, got my connector, a couple bends. So the thought is it will come down here, across over there, and then go in through the firewall, kind of back down all the way to back there, and that's where I'll put the T so the brake lines can go to either side for the back brakes. This was my first uh, flare that I tried. Um, although I feel like I followed the proper technique, um, I I don't think this is a double flare. I mean, it, it, I think it maybe just slipped down or something. It just looked, so I grounded kind of cross section and it looks like it's just one wall to me. So uh, being a little paranoid, I'm gonna go ahead and redo my previous flares. Um, I'll just cut off the flare or I should say grind it off. I'm not going to re redo any of the bends. Well, I'll grind it flat and redo the flares now that uh, I'm a little more knowledgeable. Okay, so here's one end of a brake line that I made. And again, this one to me looks like, I don't know, something didn't quite go right because it looks like a single flare. And then here is the other end of that same line. So again, that looks like double flare. So. Um, I don't know if my technique needs to be improved, but I'm going to make sure that they're all double flared. Alright, so I think I figured out what's going on is that first, uh, kind of the first flare die. Um, for whatever reason, I'm not getting it tight enough or whatever. It's not flaring, it's just kind of pushing it down. Um, so, anyway, figure out what I need to do to fix it. Here we are all put back together. Um, it's the left on passenger side, brake line. Um, and then also got the driver's side brake line. So, um, crisis averted. I'm glad we caught that. Um, I'm gonna keep going the brake lines. Um, I've got, got this one here all bent. And it'll go to the back. So I'm just going to drill a hole, feed the long one through, and then um, essentially put it up on there, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's the rear brake line. So coming out of there, around here, I'm actually using the same hole. I've got a clip on top and on bottom, one to hold um, either line. Then I've got it going in here through the firewall. I've got a uh, rubber grommet there, again, to keep things from rattling. And then, you can see it kind of going all the way back. So 
I will continue to kind of put some of those clips at strategic places and then I'll put a T at the back and mount it as well and that's probably about all I can do until I get the rear brakes. Alright so a couple updates here just finishing up some uh, final touches on the brakes so on this line we had it go in the wrong direction so I made it flip around I don't know if you can see that so essentially flip around and come back here so that way the brake line gets out of the way of the wheel which will be kind of here um, the other thing so I got the uh, rear brake line coming to there um, it goes through a grommet through the firewall and then comes out on this side so I've got it coming around and then I've got it attached there and then all the way back there so that's where it's going to go through the back I've got a T that I'll use when the back brakes come so it's kind of the update on the brakes and we'll leave it there here is the radiator that I got uh, this is from a Jeep Cherokee um, I think in the 90s so um, again that one's a 4 liter V8 and um, this particular manufacturer says this is even 40% or 45% more efficient or uh, it, it's anyways in cooling the engine so I'm thinking that that should be good it also came with some fans uh, nice red fans and so we'll go ahead and get this kind of mocked up and let you see what it looks like all right so I'll need to mount up some brackets or something to get it to, to sit and be secure where I want it but essentially that's where it'll live and um, the other thing I got is so this is the water pump or coolant pump and I believe it's rated for about 30 liters a minute so again quite a bit more than I think what we need but um, yeah should be good I'll throw the uh, throw the hood on again just so you can see what it looks like with the hood on all right so one thing I found is that um, online they gave you the uh, essentially the core size and then they give you the overall size which is kind of that and then like the kind of bolts on top and bottom but what they didn't account for is this so this is just a little bit too wide so I'm either gonna have to kind of like you see it now it's either gonna have to lean a little bit or it's gonna have to be scooted back um, either way I think I'm gonna need some uh, like a shroud make sure all the air is going through the right spot um, if I do lean it down like this it just presents a little bit of you know, just some tight spots for radiator hoses to bend so we'll have to figure it out so there's what it looks like um, again this is with it kind of tilted down a little bit um, let me show you what we're looking at on the inside so this is uh, underneath the passenger front wheel well and so these are the uh, I put the lights uh, housings in and so this is the uh, spot here where we're leaning down and um, really all it takes to kind of make it go back up I'll just show you Take this out so there's kind of just um, just really this this very corner of the fiberglass if I just kind of shave kind of shave that off um, I think it can uh, go up straight um, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. Um, I'll put this back. One of the other things that, again, that I'm looking at, because I kind of feel like I needed to make, uh, I'll, I'll call them little filler plates. I mean, this will just be op air open, you know, so it's all these, so again, lights will go in there, but in between, it's like here, there. Let me show you around the front there um, it's all just open so I'm thinking if I if I want to kind of take this off to allow the radiator to come forward again I can just kind of make a piece that has a new contour I don't think it'll look a lot different um, I'll show you the other side all right so this is driver's side um, and you can kind of see it's the same thing so if I take this guy out 
um, it's just really just this very corner if I can just shave that off so I think that might be my plan um, I'll probably wait to do that for a while um, maybe I'll do that at the same time that I fix this or this this is all coming out and stuff so but yeah that's my thought is to get that to lean up straight um, just need to kind of those very corners just take it out and then just bring it up a couple inches so I think that'll be the plan but there you have it all right so I've got some uh, reed eater hose um, about 25 feet so I think I probably only need about 20 feet or so um, but I also got some uh, pump and some fittings so we will figure out where best to place the pump and I'll put all the fittings on. My thought is I'll run the hoses kind of straight down the middle so I'll open up a little channel there and it'll go down kind of the, the center console area. Uh, I can't really see too well but and I think straight onto the back and that's where essentially the motor is and the Essentially, there's one. Let's see if we can see it here. So one fitting there, and then one on kind of the other side over there. So that's where the, the coolant lines go, and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I've been messing around with the radiator, uh, trying to get it to fit. So um, made some cuts on the inside of the. Uh, front there um, and so I can get it to fit now um, I'm gonna get some brackets that go kind of underneath so it can kind of sit on the brackets um, right now it's just kind of resting on the bottom posts um, I'm also gonna get some brackets to go to the top uh, to screw under those uh, threads so but right now I'm gonna work on hoses so I'm gonna get the hoses find out where to route them. I think I'm just going to go back through the center again. Um, I've got some clamps and clips, so we'll start working on the hoses. So one other thing, I've got uh, a pump, so this will um, allow flow for coolant. So this will go, probably mount it up front uh, behind the radiator. Again, I'll need a bracket, but it'll pump it to the motor and back through the radiator. So I've got to figure out how to mount it. It's just got two wires, 12 volts. So I need to add a circuit there as well. But we'll get it all situated. So I got some connectors that were supposed to be um, three quarter for three quarter inch tubing, and as you can see. They will not connect three quarter inch tubing because the barbs are way less than three quarter inch. So I'll maybe make a run to the hardware store and see if I can't get some, but these are going back. All right, I went to the hardware store, got some uh, things. We'll see if they work out. Okay, I got one side done. So the main tubing is a uh, three quarter inch. This actually goes up to an inch and a quarter, I think. And uh, the other side is actually an inch and a half. So, and I want it to go out 90 degrees because there's not a lot of room there. So I need to get one more fitting there. Um, but I'll go ahead and uh, get the other tube or get the other end all situated and run them through here and all the way back to the Tesla motor. So there's the other side. Like I said, just gonna miss that 90 degrees. The other one will come out. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, that bottom there. And so I'm gonna have it go at 90 degree. So this one will kind of be sitting here, plug into that. And like I said, we'll run them back there.
All right, so here we go. So this is coming essentially hot from the engine or from the motor. Um, and so it comes around and goes there. And so I've just kind of put a strip of tape on it so I can remember it's hot. Um, and then the other side down here, so that one comes in or goes to the engine. And so it kind of goes over to there. And we're just missing a 90 degree fitting there. Um, the other thing I need is I need to get the uh, kind of little hose clips so I can attach it to the frame. Um, on this side, again, I've got that's hot going to the radiator, cold coming from the radiator back to the motor. And so they'll go down the main channel here. I've got this all messed up, but uh, it'll go out the back. So for now, I've just got all the big hoses right here in the car, but um, I'll cut them to length. But essentially there, so you got one there and the other one's there. So that's where they're coming out. So we'll get them all, once the motor's mounted, get them cut to length and that should be good. Oh, one other thing I needed to mention is the pump. So again, I need to get the pump. My thought is I'll probably just mount it over here, come on the low side, coming out of the radiator. But we'll, we'll check it out and uh, get back. Well, everybody, that does it for this week. We got a lot accomplished. We got the brakes sorted out. We got the uh, motor cooling started and I uh, got a lot more to go, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Um, if you'd like to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you.